Um, yesterday, I never even came into the office. Uh, today's the third day, and I'm starting to get therapeutic on my medication again. The knees are still killing me. I'm having to use two walking tanks today. Linda and I did drive to the bank and withdrew a hundred bucks and she got uh, bleach for the swim pool and some other stuff. I can't remember, it doesn't matter I guess. Um, then I went to see my son Chris, he's uh, just a second, doing maintenance on Jerry's equipment because maintenance has never really been done on it. Uh, this is a first. Uh, I showed up at the snake pit and he asked me for a ride over to Jerry's small bulldozer. I gave him a ride over there um, and he drove it back to the snake pit. Uh, about a half mile drive I guess, something like that. Uh, and he's working on it. He's power washing the undercarriage and greasing it up. Uh, and that's what they're doing. Then I went and saw my best friend Jerry and my youngest adopted son Matt at Lodge 3. Had uh, a good conversation with Jerry on some stuff. And uh, then I came back here my grandson Walter came out of the house when he heard Nana's car pull up and came out and I told him I needed to be by myself in here. Wasn't trying to hurt his feelings but I have things I need to do and I need to do them by myself. Uh, part of which is running a background on someone that my son Brandon texted me to run a background on. I did said background uh, and I can understand now why he wanted me to look at the guy and I did and the guy's not a real good person. Um, so that brought me up to I had uh, two packages of crackers, the little peanut butter crackers only I think those had cheese. Anyway, I had two packages of crackers for lunch and I'm back in the office. And uh, after I do this vlog, I'll upload it and uh, Brent and Nick gets off at 5 and Brandon gets off at 5.30 so and they will uh, be home between 5.30 and 6, somewhere in there. I did uh, clear with Jerry and Matt for my son Chris. I'm hiring him tomorrow. I want him to spend all day. Whatever we got to buy to make that navigator run like it's supposed to, we'll go buy. Uh, I want it done and I want it done right and I want it done well and I will pay very good for him getting that done. I uh, talked to Linda. I, um, we're going to get a, a pickup. We're not going to get rid of her car. She loves that car. And if we can keep the thing running right, it's a great car, especially for taking children to school and picking them up. Um, we'll get a pickup later. Uh, uh, when? I don't know. It's a matter of finding the right one. First of all, I don't feel like going to a car lot and buying one and paying three times what the thing's actually worth. I don't want to buy a brand new one, but I want to get a, a late model. Usually when you buy a brand new one, they lose value immediately. I talked to my best friend Jerry, asked him if he wanted to sell me his, uh, his Toyota pickup, and he said no. Then I wouldn't have it to drive, but I think the main thing he wants to do 
is keep me from being mad at him because something breaks down on his truck. Chris uh, did a lot of repairs on it and he said the underside of that truck is rusted out. Um, it's from New York City and they salt the roads heavy during the winter and so a lot of rust on New York cars. I, uh, and I found one that I didn't get and I found another one that's got to be a scam. Um, down in Texas and uh, I haven't contacted that guy. Usually when you have a, a truck and they say they want a thousand or twelve hundred dollars that's the down payment. That or they use that to rope you in to come and to see them and then they uh, oh that was a misprint I meant twelve thousand not twelve hundred you know and usually if something sounds too good to be true it's too good to be true that that is <laughs> that is definite um, un momento por favor I had to get a sip um, the AC's on in here. Um, after I load this, upload this, I'm probably going to go into the house. Maybe, kind of, sort of. Um, Linda's uh, once again. Eight of our grandchildren are here on the farm. Uh, found out that Walter, that Nana. Linda, my sweetheart, is Walter's favorite person in the world. He had uh, spikes on top of his head like that and had them cut off. And I think that's because I kept starting to pet his head and I couldn't. So he had it cut off. He's got a burr haircut now. Um, I'm reasonably sure that my son will get that navigator repaired where it needs to be. And then after that, uh, we will uh, go to plan B, which is finding another vehicle. Jerry and I had a discussion about something called bricks. That's where Russia and China and some other countries are forming their own union and they're wanting to establish currency to take away from the American dollar. Uh, I kind of leave politics in its own little room out there somewhere. I'm tired of, uh, I don't like discussing politics with people. Uh, two things I won't debate with someone is politics and religion. I uh, I figure God's going to sort all that out sooner or later, probably sooner rather than later. I just, oh man. I'll have to say it looks like somebody dented the front of my favorite guitar. I'll be right back. I need to really look at it. Nope, it's just dirt. It's really dirty and dusty. I need to get a wipe and clean it down. Um, things are popping around here. Never a dull moment. I'm choking. 
I used to wear my top button buttoned all the time, but uh, it's too hot. And this is a winter short sleeve shirt. Yeah, they do make them. I don't know why I put it on. Probably because it's a short sleeve shirt. I'm wearing shorts and a short sleeve shirt and tennis shoes today. Uh, And, uh, well, somebody's done something. My footstool is upside down over there. I wonder what caused that. Doesn't matter. Um, yesterday was a pretty good day. Today's a pretty good day. Uh, get that car going, that'll be an even better day. But, uh, I don't know what Mike's doing today. I didn't ask Matt. I'll, I'll call Mike here in a little bit to see what he's up to. Uh, I'm really uh, just trying to uh, endure is the best way to say it. Um, spoke briefly to my brother Chris and I can't even remember what we discussed. Uh, I just hope he's taking care of himself. I hope my sister and her husband JD are doing okay. I hope mom and my brother John are doing okay. I hope that my brother Michael's doing okay. I hope my brother Zachary's doing okay. He and his family. I hope that Amy and her family are doing okay. hope my brother Jason is doing okay. I pray for everybody. I do. It's one of the few things left that I can do well. I do pray well and I pray a lot uh, it's the older I get the more I realize the need for it the more there's need to supplicate God to uh, help others and so I do that uh, I probably need to go in the house and help my wife and granddaughter deal with grandkids. Uh, I don't know how long Chris is going to be working today. That bulldozer he's working on hadn't been washed probably since it was made and it was made in the 1960s so it's really an old dozer. A small John Deere dozer and then Jerry's got another John Deere dozer over at Arbuckle Wilderness that has to be uh, rebuilt and Chris can do that. Jerry's got a lot of equipment that, and a lot of it he doesn't need. It needs to go to a new home. And uh, it's like Chris told Matt, you know, his equipment will stay in better shape if people have quit abusing it. You know, you don't turn the throttle all the way up on a backhoe thinking you're going to really do something. All you're doing with that is, is breaking a backhoe. Same with a dozer. And Chris told me somebody burnt the fourth gear out on Jerry's bulldozer, which isn't good. And those are hard to replace. Uh, but anybody watching this, Jerry's got a, a large Kawasaki front loader for sale. He's going to have a garbage truck, the tube type where it goes in there and pushes it. He's got a garbage truck that's going to be for sale. Uh, uh, big tractor, I think it's an international tractor that is stuck in fourth gear because the clutches are messed up on it. It'll be for sale. Um, and a, a freight liner dump truck that's going to be for sale and who knows what else. Uh, oh yeah, a Mamu, a big dirt mover, huge thing. And it'll be for sale. 
and uh, talking to Matt on here, when you guys move that earth mover, you don't need to move it across the damn road. You need to go out onto the road and move it. It's too big to drive across that concrete ribbon on that dam. It would damage it. Uh, I don't know, maybe if you dump the dirt out of the middle of it, it would, uh, it's probably got three tons of dirt, you know, in the belly of it. If you got rid of that, maybe you could take it across the ribbon. I would get Jerry to drive it to the snake pit for you. Uh, yeah, that's an idea. And he knows how to operate it. He's driven it before. Um, well, that's pretty much all I've got to say today. Um, it's nice and cool in here for a change. I love all of you. I do I want God to bless all of you like the sign up there says. Be kind. And bye.